Hey guys, just before I get into this new episode of Extreme Career Mode, which has finally made its return, I do just want to say if you would like any Ultimate Team coins, then check out the Foot Shop. Link will be down below, and if you use CalFreezy at checkout, you will get 5% off. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'm excited to have the series back. What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back now we have something called extreme career mode now uh, There might be a few of you guys who have never seen this on my channel I actually uh, started up a few weeks ago and then because team of the season came out I've just been focusing really hard on team of the season because you guys have really been enjoying that content So uh, for that reason I have been uh, focusing a lot on that But I do really want to keep this series going I love it and uh, you guys really enjoy it and uh, I appreciate all the support on the videos So uh, yeah, let's get into this anyways guys. I'm just showing you some of the results because um, not only did I focus a lot on team of season I actually got a new PC and uh, a lot of my files from uh, a few I think you guys are gonna miss three games that I played um, there was against PSG where I won I lost to Bayern and there was one other game I forget if you just look uh, back on that you guys will see it but uh, there is the current table standing I'm currently sitting in fifth place on 18 points but yeah I did get a new computer this new computer is a monster which means hopefully I'll be able to get more videos out to you guys as well and uh, yeah just this computer Computer is uh, just a, a monster. Anyways, I don't want to talk to you guys about the, about that. I might do a setup video in the future, or if you guys want to know more about my PC, uh, I'll just uh, reply to some of you guys in the comments. But uh, yeah, let's take a look. So we have a game coming up against Manchester City. This is extreme career mode, and if it, this is the first episode that you're watching, I recommend you go ahead and watch the other six that I've done. But if you just can't be arsed, then... Um, it's where I've put all of the best teams into one league, into the Premier League, and that's exactly what we're doing. I have chosen Chelsea, and that's what we're going to go ahead and use. And yeah, so this team, this Chelsea team, is actually really interesting. There's a lot of points I want to talk to you guys about, and uh, things I want to discuss with you guys. And as you can see, right in the beginning, I actually had Man City on the back foot a lot. A great tackle there from, I believe it was Oscar, just made a monstrous tackle. It allows Eto to use his pace to power past the defense. And fire that past the keeper who just looked starstruck. Didn't know what was going on. But yeah, Eto is really, really good. A lot of the times, especially recently, because I signed Benteke and Hernandez, it's actually the case of me using both of them because I want them to grow as quick as possible. But it's not the smartest thing to do, especially when you're in a league of incredible teams. You have to use your best players. And for that reason, I've decided to use Eto as a starting 11 player. And this is just cheesy. Like, it wasn't me that was controlling the player there, it was David Luiz giving away a penalty but like I said I just can't I, I can't stop that it wasn't me that selected him to do that it's just EA did the collision it was just all a big mess kind of disappointed with that unfortunately though I do go the right way but unfortunately uh, Chet wasn't able to get a hand to it that's just really gutting because you know you chose the right way but your keeper just wasn't able to make the save anyways we go in at halftime and as always guys uh, whenever I play sorry we go into full time it was 1-1 one, one, and, and uh, as always when it comes to career mode I cannot hold possession I get bored way too quickly and it just doesn't work out well for me anyways let's take a look at some of our youth players look at that that guy there Gary Button oh sorry oh sorry Connor Everett my bad is the one with a 94 potential that is ridiculous he has so you know instantly I was like sign this lad up let's get him into the um let's get him into the uh the youth squad sorry get him playing some games because he looks like he could be amazing could you just imagine if he actually reached his full potential also a uh, Robert uh Robert Hugill sorry Hugill however you'd pronounce that also has a 92 potential of course it doesn't mean they are going to reach that it doesn't mean they're going to reach anywhere near that but you know it definitely gives a really nice indication and hopefully you know we're in for some quality players as you can see there are some great Great players here. Another one, Markovic there, a goalkeeper, uh, has a potential of 90. And so th I really do enjoy this youth thing. But the one bad thing about the youth system is it will take you a long time to get anywhere near where you want them to be. You know, uh, it's going to be five, six, seven seasons down the line to the point where I start to see these players really develop into what they could be. So you know, from that point of view, it is something that you just got to look really far ahead with. It's not something that I like doing too much, but hey-ho, it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But we've got L FC Schalke here, and Schalke have some quality players. One of my favorite players on Schalke is actually Farfan. I think he's great in this game. And we have a few players that are kind of low on energy, and I decided to play Ramirez as Camelot. You guys might be like, Cal, he's naturally a defensive mid. What are you doing putting him there? But because he's got the pace, I figured, you know, he might be able just to fit into that camp. But I do have Oscar on uh, the bench just in case 
case things don't go to plan and I can bring him on at halftime. But overall, this team has got some really quality players. I went with Eto'o and Benteke for this game. Uh, Benteke is just absolute brute in this. Um, I've got Abel Hernandez on the bench at the moment. He's the player that I signed. But that right there, I honestly thought I got the ball. Um, according to the referee, it wasn't the case. And again, David Luiz giving away a penalty. And he gets himself a yellow card. He's lucky that was a yellow card and not a red. Unfortunately, it was big Huntelaar that steps up. And Huntelaar is just a monster when it comes to penalties. And I had uh, Petr Cech. I guessed the right way last time. Was I going to be able to do it again this time? Let's have a look. He runs up to it and fi- God damn it, Check you went the wrong way. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. And we go into halftime 1-0 down, all because of a penalty from David Luiz. That's two penalties given away in two games. And again, possession, of course, in the opposition's favor. Because guess what? I suck at holding possession in career mode. It's just, I, I feel as though every team plays such great possession football. Or maybe it's because I'm used to Ultimate Team. You guys let me know. Do you guys try and focus on holding possession? I know for me, it just doesn't do it. But I made some changes at halftime. It wasn't meant to be. And we end up dropping three points to Schalke and that for me is just that is not good at all you know that's a must win game for me we're at home we're at Stamford Bridge and we're not picking up three points against Schalke so I decided let's just get on with it enough pissing around it's time just to play um get into the squad we're gonna have to change something up and for me guys honestly as weird as this might sound the attack of this team, it just isn't working for me. Benteke has been, so far, a flop. I just haven't enjoyed using him at all. He has not been impressive, so I decided to go with the pace merchants, Eto and Hernandez, to see if we could change something up, you know, just do something different, because obviously what we have right now isn't working. I'm not getting nearly as many shots as I was hoping for um, off. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm ending games with maybe three shots on target sort of thing. I want to be ending more than that. Willie in there plays a great ball through Abel Hernandez. That right Right there is a quality finish. I really like that one. Um, so he managed to get a goal, and you know that just shows Benteke wasn't doing shit for me the entire time. Unfortunately, as Piliqueta gets injured there, and we're gonna have to change him off. And actually, just a few moments later, Oscar gets injured, and I actually end up swapping him. But I think I end up putting Shirla as Cam, just because uh, you know the Ramirez at Cam wasn't working out. I currently have Ramirez as CDM for this game because Matic wasn't working out like I had hoped. Don't get me wrong, it's certain things he was doing was okay. Um, but they weren't, he, he, like I said, the, the attack just wasn't there, and so I had to change something up. Anyways, great bit of passing play. Ramirez holds it up, plays a great ball through to Hernandez. Can't fucking believe it. I couldn't believe it. What is, wh how do you miss that? How do you miss that? That very much reminds me of Torres' first season at Chelsea where he was literally just missing the most just the blatant opportunities. Like, how do you miss that? How do you mess that up? Anyways, Hazard does a great job following up, putting pressure on the defense, and he gets his reward for it in the form of a goal and makes it 2-0. And that is a three points that we desperately needed. I cannot afford to lose many games. We're sitting currently in around fifth place again. You know, after that game that we, uh, we lost to Schalke, I was sitting down in, like, the gutters, man. I was out in, like... Fit, uh, eighth place and that's just not good enough for a quality side like Chelsea and instantly I was like well let's see what players have we scouted so far that I can go ahead and take a look at because I, I just I, I can't stand my attack so far if I'm honest with you I I want to get rid of Benteke but I'm going to hold on to him just to the end of the season or at least until January just to see what happens because something has got to change I'm not enjoying this um, this attack at all don't get me wrong Hazard's good but maybe I have to change up something in the formation maybe I should play with wingers uh, maybe go for a 4-3-3 and uh, try something out there because at the moment this 4-1-2-1-2 is not working out as I intended and let's take a look at some of the um, scouts that I've got going on here I just wanted to see what they had on offer and I also needed to relocate them because they'd said they'd found everything in their respective countries and there you can see a uh, look at that scout their five-star experience five-star judgment and I end up sending them over to Argentina into the South American gold mine there's so many quality players that come from South America so instantly I was very interested in that decided uh, I'd relocate my scouts just send them to somewhere new I wasn't entirely sure where I wanted to send them I just kind of put them in random locations because there's really you have no real um, incentive to put them in one certain place unless you put them in their home country then they tend to do better but that's what I had already done with them so you know I had to move them anyways so they weren't able to go obviously back to their home country because they just found everything from there so I have a game coming up against Atletico Madrid and that should be really exciting I'm excited to see how well that goes as you can see I'm currently sitting in fifth place on 23 points
points and we need to do better you know there's no doubt about it we need to up our game we need to do a better job and uh, we got a press conference everything we found some players from Argentina things like that and these are players that I'm gonna have to keep my eye on and see what happens I'm gonna make sure they continue to get scouted to find out more about them because we need I don't know, man. I'm tempted just to take a look and make a huge marquee signing come uh, January. Just make a big, badass signing. You know, a player we're all well aware of. You know, I'm not going to look at signing Ronaldo or Messi, but, you know, Aguero, Suarez, um, Sturridge, Manzuka. Well, maybe not Manzuka, actually. Maybe someone like Benzema. Uh, even Jesse Rodriguez could be a good pickup. You know, someone that we know is going to deliver because at the moment my strike force just isn't cutting. You know, it isn't the cut in the cake. It's not doing the job. So, Anyways, guys, I hope you did all enjoy this video, and if you did, make sure you leave a like down below. Uh, show your support for this series. I do want to make more of this for you guys, but I have a very divided audience. A lot of you guys like Ultimate Team, a lot of you guys like Career Mode, so it is hard to find that balance, but I do want to make sure I have a lovely Career Mode audience, so I hope you guys can enjoy this. hope you guys enjoy the Extreme Career Mode Episode 7. Have a fantastic time. See you guys later. Bye-bye.